All right, here we go. We're in section 6.2 today. We're going to be converting, so these are things you'll need to have. So section 6.2, we kind of did a little bit of this last time, but we have some brand new problems today I'd like to start with. Okay, so 6.2, we're going to be converting conversions. You know, changing different forms. Uh, I think last time we really focused on if I gave you a picture, could you get to percent? If I give you a percent, could you get it back to a picture? We did vice versa. Okay? So, again, the goal today is to convert from different forms. So, going from form to form. And the goal today is to really look at two specific ones. We're going to really look at decimal form today. Decimal form and going to percents, and then we're going to look at fraction form, but this is going to be a unique type of fraction, I'll explain. So we're going to look at two forms today which are very specific. These need to be very uniquely in your notes so you don't mix it up with the last stuff we did. Because you're on the next test we take, which you know, two weeks or so from now, the next test we take, um, we got to make sure that we know ex exactly what forms we're doing here. Okay? All right. Um, questions on what we're doing here today. Okay, perfect. Let's start with the decimal form. So here's the first example I'd like you to write down. We're going to do a couple of these today. I think I got two or three of these picked out. Okay, the first one I would like to cover. 68.7%. Okay, so we're starting with the percent. What, what we're talking about here is that this is written kind of as a decimal, which is really weird. It's written as a decimal and I want it as a fraction, um, and we can talk about the actual like percent itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take this, this is written as a percent, you can see it's written as a percent. We're gonna write it as a decimal, and then we're gonna try to see can we get that to fraction form, a normal fraction. That way we can draw it. We'll kind of show you how that works. And this is one you're gonna definitely need a calculator on so we can talk about it. This is one I'm not gonna have you draw today, I just wanna talk about why it could be difficult to actually draw this. Okay, questions at all about this, what we're doing. This is one we didn't do last time and I wanna make sure you know how. Okay, first, 68.7. Now this is written as a percent, correct? Mm -hmm. What we need to do is to change it back to decimal form. Here's how you take a percent. If you have a percent and you want to take it back to decimal, you move this decimal two spots to the left. Move two spots left. And that will change it back to a decimal. So if I move it over two spots, what's my number now? 0 0.68. 0 0.68. 0 0.687. Does everyone understand that when I move it back? That's the decimal over because you always move it back two spots. Um, if I move it back, I can change it to a percent. But now, to write that as a fraction, so this, so the first one's done, check. Got it, I wrote it as a decimal. To write it as a fraction, now it's harder. The, the most difficult part of now changing this is we have to now figure out how do I convert this to a fraction? How many numbers are behind the decimal point? How many numbers are behind the decimal on the right side? Three. three. Okay, so we're gonna have three numbers. So you're gonna put the six, eight, seven. There's three numbers there. Put them on the top. And I don't even care if there's zeros. You count all the numbers. Okay. Um, and on the bottom, how many zeros go on the bottom? How many numbers were after the decimal? Three. Three. You put three zeros on the bottom. So to make this a fraction, you put one with three zeros on the bottom. That's how you make it a fraction. Yeah, it's a big fraction. I'd like you to type that fraction in your calculator. Type in 687. Hit the little ABC button. So 687. Hit the little ABC button. And then type in the 1,000. And hit equal. I'm assuming it doesn't want that it just gives you the same fraction. It gave you the same fraction, right? It didn't even simplify it. You can't simplify it. Ah. The, the calculator could not simplify that. Here's the bad news about that. It's it tells you to do. Yeah. Basically what's going through its head right now. Yeah. If they had a head. Yeah, so here's the problem. If we had to draw this, that means you'd have to draw a thousand boxes and color in 687 of them. Yikes. Oh, hey, you didn't right? 
Oh, like, here's, my, here's my answer to that. Oh, thanks. No, yeah, it's super difficult. That's why I didn't assign any of those. I typically, on ones where there's decimals, I don't assign those as the ones we draw, because it doesn't make sense. What it's actually meaning is that you're actually shading in 68 and a little bit extra out of 100 boxes, or 687 out of 1,000 boxes. That's too many. I don't want to do that. It's way too many. Boxes. That's probably take a whole page. Yeah, it would. It would take forever. I would never want to do something like that. It was just. It's way too difficult in the first place. Uh, but. But what I want to talk about today is: is there a way that we can. We can eventually simplify these down where you feel more comfortable with them. Okay. So, do we understand how I wrote these in the different forms? Okay, you need to have notes out right now because I'm going to have you try the next one out by yourself. Okay, so this next one, I'm going to leave that on the board. I'd like you to try this one out on your paper. I want you to make this this percent into your own uh, own fractions. Here you go. We're going to go 4.56%. The first thing I want you to do, convert it to decimal. And then I want you to convert that to fraction. I'm going to walk around the room. I want to check your answers. I want to see what you got, why you got it. Use mine as a goal, how I did it. I want to see what you come up with. Okay, I want it in decimals, then I want you to convert it to fraction form. And you don't have to draw it. So, try it right now. I'm going to walk around the room. I want to check. Whole thing. All right. So, we'll start with Connor. Let's we'll start with you first. How did you move this decimal? How many spots? Two. Two. So you're moving it two spots. All right. Okay, Eric, what is the number going to be when you moved it to, like Connor said? Tell me what that decimal is. 0.0456. 456. All right, boom. The reason why, the decimal was here, and you moved it two spots to there. That is correct. Okay, Sam, what was the fraction you had written down? Because it was correct. 0.456 over... What, 10,000? 10,000. Or, yeah, 10,000. Uh, four zeros. Okay. okay. If you type this in and hit the little ABC button and you type in 10,000, it might simplify it. It may. It may not. It's okay. 1% um, chance not going. So, if it does, that's fine. So, if I, were to, if I was attempting to draw this, what that is, is that is the number... 456, because I don't need really the zero out front, over 10,000. That means if I was going to draw this, I have to draw 10,000 boxes and shade in 456 of them. That's that's next to nothing of them. Okay? Probably oh, so, take up a whole notebook. Yeah, it would take forever. So that's why I'm not having you draw stuff like this. Oh, okay, Lord. questions with the first example. Are we good? Hopefully we got to kind of figure out how to convert that. All right, new ones today. So that was the first one. Second ones. Okay, now we're going to do something a little bit different now. Oh, from fraction to us. Yeah, we're going to start with a fraction that's a little bit odd, and we're going to convert it. I'm going to show you the shortcuts for doing this. Not quite. You can see this. So watch this. Here's my example. Let's, let's give us our number. Number. Two and a half percent. Point now it's not two and a half men. It does it uh -huh. does have a it does have a fraction in it, but it's a percent. So most people when they see this, they want to make it improper. How do you make this improper? You guys are pretty good at this. How do I like convert it? Two times two. Five over one. Yeah. Two times two plus the one on the top, which is five. You guys said that right. Because you take two times the bottom number you have at the over top two. over two. Okay? That's what most people do, because this bottom number will always stay on the bottom, right? That's how you convert. Hey, Fred, you're called the office, by the way, but... I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, so we have the uh, we have the two on the bottom, right? Now, here's what I want you to do. Type that in your calculator. Type in five divided by two on your calculator. Five divided by two. Type that in. Two point five. Two. Or five divided by two. Two point five. You get two point five. Okay, that's this is decimal form. Okay, if you're going to convert it to a percent, you have to move it back two spots. So that's 250 percent. Because that's the, when they give you a decimal on your calculator when you divide, you have to always move it. This number is not that number. 
which is weird. It's not 2.5%, it was 250%. That's not the number I needed, right? So here's how you do it. You don't actually take 5 divided by 2. If it's in percent form, this is percent form, by the way. This, there's a percent sign behind it. If there's a percent sign. What is percents out of? What's the best score you could get on a test? 100. 100%, right? That's what percents are out of. It's out of 100, right? Out of 100%, okay? So what you need to do is put 100 on the bottom. We're going we're gonna to multiply the bottom by 100. Because you've got to put 100 on the bottom of your fraction. So if we take 2 times the 100 on the bottom, we get? 200. 200, and now we're representing the correct percent. This is now 5 out of 200, which is the correct percent. Okay, and now take 5 divided by, take 5 divided by 200. 0 0.025. Yep, and when you move the decimal back two spots, because it's in decimal form, if you move it back this direction, that's 2.5%, which is the number we needed. It was 2.5%, 2.5%. That This is something that a lot of people will understand. When they give you fractions as percents, you have to make sure you put 100 on the bottom of it. It's this. These are different than the problems we did yesterday. Yesterday we were doing problems where they did something like this, 7 over 8. And you had to tell me what that percent was. You had to like draw it, that you're going to draw 8 boxes. You're going to draw 8 boxes and shade in 7 of them. Okay, that's different. When they put a percent behind it, that's talking about the actual percent likelihood of you, you actually accomplishing your goal. It's not how many boxes were shaded. That's a very small, slim percent. It's not even 1%. Okay, this one was 2.5%, very small odds. Okay, 2.5% is, is almost the likelihood of you drawing a card out of the deck and me guessing what that card is. Okay? Me guessing the card out of the deck. That's a very unlikelihood of me guessing it. The exact card you have. Unless I cheat it. Cheater. So, it's just it's one of those things we had to see these examples. Okay? Questions at all about percents or decimals or anything like that today? Okay, we're gonna stop there today. We'll continue on with our, our game of sorry today. And we're gonna we're gonna see who could be the winner today because we're talking about percents. And the likelihood of us getting a roll. Now, before we get there, we, we definitely need to talk about the rolls themselves. I want to put that chart back up on the board we had up here the other day. Two, three, four. That just made me happy. One, two, three, four. I put my land on Saturday. Oh, that's already He's already at home. He's the gold one. He's going to beat us easily. <laughs> The gold one always gets the lead. Hey, did, did, have you seen the trailer for Deadpool 2? I think I have. It has Deadpool playing as Bob Ross. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one, three, yeah, one, two, 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 one, Alright, these are your likelihoods of rolling a certain number on your die. We're going to get back in and we'll talk about the actual game of sorry here.